Just so you know. Glass. Look at it. Everything's glass around here. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we got a bag full of goodies. Well, a bag full of goodies means we're going to be another step closer to getting this thing done. Hey, by the way, this thing, let me know if you think I should leave the top of the breather cap metal and just clear coat it, or should I paint it black? Leave your comment down below and let me know what you think. The power steering back on and all the new lines, I got the fan on, this and that, and the other freaking thing, and you know, I got the steering column back in and whatnot, and all the lines hooked up, PCB valve and brake booster and all that kind of good stuff, so we're getting close, Captain. I'm so sick and tired of spending money on this damn truck, it's not even funny, to be honest with you. Now I can't find a drive shaft, I'm gonna have to get one made. And that's another $600. But hey, it is what it is. So in the back of goodies, what we got here is we got ourselves some boots, which we don't need because we wrapped the headers, but we got them anyways. The boots for the uh, spark plug wires, just to make them look a little nicer. We got ourselves an empty box. We got ourselves a 90 fitting that I was waiting for for the training cooler. So that can go in. And of course it comes as a two pack, so I didn't have a choice but get two, so I have an extra. I got the bolt for the mini starter that I was missing. Steve got them for me today, so thanks Steve for them. So now we can get the starter back on. A half inch cog for the heater hose for the back side of the intake. I've got a 45 for the water pump so I can tuck the hose down and around and through instead of out and, out and over. And I'll show you that when we get to it because we're going to get to that soon. I've also got, because of the way I'm running the heater hoses, I got another roll of some heat stuff and I got batteries, Amazon basic batteries for my friggin' doodads because it's dead or dicks and it wasn't working so I wanted to get it working again. I left the darn thing on by accident and it drained the batteries. You'd think it would have come with auto off or something, but it didn't. So we'll just slap the battery in this real quick, make sure it's working. That will make me feel better. I will have some spares, Captain. It says to use scissors, it does. Sounds good. There we go. Those are some pretty good scissors right there. It's called finger scissors. There we go. Come on, get out of there. All right, so put it on that way. And then it goes down this way. Yep, there it is. It's working. My golly, I think we got it, Jim. Pretty right, we got it. Okay, so there we go. She's working again. Oh yeah, look at inch and a quarter, or inch and whatever, hey? Eh? It's working again. Make sure you hit off. That way the batteries don't go dead. And actually I'm gonna put these batteries right in here with them because that way you have extra batteries. That's not a bad idea. Will they fit? Probably not. Oh, they do fit, there you go. So while I have you here, I might as well put this piece in. Who wants to see that? Leave your comments down below. So I'll put you in here somewhere. So we'll take this bracket back off again. Cause I've only had it on like once or twice. So that's not bad. What size is that? Leave your comment down below. I'm gonna say it's this size. I'm gonna say I'm fucking wrong. Probably wrong again. Nope, close enough. So 14 mil it's gonna be. Man, I have the belt all friggin' nice and tensioned and everything too. I gotta take it all back apart. God, that pisses me off. I love doing things three times. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, I decided to put, instead of the hose coming up over here through all this, I'm gonna go down through here. And that's why I bought the heat shield stuff for is for the actual line for this so if you don't like the way i'm doing that i don't know what else to tell you that's the way i'm doing that i think it's gonna look hot it's gonna look horny as hell captain how long is this bowl my god there we go i might be able to just take this one out probably better have a ratchet for that but i'm not in a rush are you no that's good there now we can lift that out of the way she's right about there which is more than far enough Look for the Teflon tape. Thought for a minute there wasn't going to fit in there. I would have lost my shit. Just like I lost a Teflon tape. Why the fuck wouldn't I lose a Teflon tape? 100% fucking gone. Gone to fucking who knows the fuck where. Right here on the hood. Oh my god. I won't be okay. Thanks for asking. So we'll screw this in here. And we'll give her. Like so. One two, three, inchworm. OK, 
Okay. Maybe I should see if I go in one more turn because it's still kind of close. Let me see if I can get around again. I'm hoping so. Oh yeah, it should go. Maybe. Here we go. There we go. Right there. All right. So now my hose, I'll use the old hose to show you, should kind of do what I wanted to do. Come up through here. And we'll move this again until we get the hose on and go into the friggin' doodad. There you go. Look at that. So then when I'm done, the hose will be nice and tucked away. So it'll come down out of here, along the frame, and into the thing, Bob. That looks so much better than friggin' up in the middle of nowhere. Tell me that's not the truth. And of course I got my heat shield for that. So that'd be nice. I'm just gonna leave this bracket off for now because I'm gonna have to take it back off to do that. So I'll just kind of slap a screw in here for now. I actually might need to take this bracket and cut a piece out. I think I do. Which sucks because I just painted it. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So just to be safe, we're gonna take the marker and we're gonna go, how you doing? Just like that. So we'll trim that back. That way we're gonna be safe. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna wreck all my paint job again. You watch. Is there anywhere I can put you? Probably fucking not. I would read there. Sure, sounds good. That might take a little while. Woo. Okay, that's not working. I'm trying to do this so I don't burn my new paint job. I used to have a bandsaw. That'd work. We got all different sorts of things to try over here. Every time we get in one thing, it's another thing. So it just doesn't surprise me at all, to be honest with you. So let's try this. Where's my thingy? Careful. Ooh, dick. paint it back up look at the shine on that bad boy not too bad for a bench paint job eh looks pretty decent i got that line on and painted so it's all notched ready to go i've got uh the back line in here for the intake for the back of the heater what else i got oh i also got one of these boys i've got uh my 90 for the the speedo calmer thing of a bobber I don't know, but I don't know if I told you this or not. I'm trying not to do stuff around here because I don't want that on my paint job. I got the Headman header gaskets for the headers. So they can go back on. Thank God I got all winter. Look at the paint job on that thing. Look at it. Should we give her another coat so it's like glass? Let's do it. Where's my paint? I'll show you how I do it. You just slightly sit back a little bit and you just go, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? There you go, look at that. Oh boy. Captain, you let her flow. Hey, you let her flow. That's awesome. Covered up all my freaking scratch marks. I got about 10 coats on there now. She's, she's definitely not gonna come apart. Frig no. Let's try one of these boots on my spark plugs. I'm curious one of these too. I'm gonna try one of these over right here. This is the end that goes to the truck right here. So as far as I'm concerned, these things go on like this, and then you roll them over it. So if you're ever not wondering how these go on, you roll them on. Okay, you give them a little roll job. 
and you hope they go on. They're going on. Jim, how you doing? Friggin' Marie, how you doing? My LS ones had uh, steel in them. These ones don't because, you know, I bought the cheapest ones you could find because I really don't need the protection on my headers because I got the headers coated. But I wanted these anyways because they look cool. They just, well, they don't look cool. They make the engine look tidy, I think. There it is. Well, that's not right. Now it's inside out. Frank, I'm going to go the other way, Jim. My apologies. It's got to go this way. Here, let's go this way. Ready? I'm not. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's it. I hope my boot didn't come through. Hold on. Get my boot out. There it is. So there you go. Here's one. Hey, one. And you just carry on like that and continue it. So make sure you turn them inside out first. That's what I'd say. So we want to go in through this way, right? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Give me top line. Ooh. Let's roll this inside out and then we'll pull it back out. So stick your finger in it and give it the finger fuck. And then you stick your knob in there and you push on it hard and pull it. And it should roll. Let's see if it rolls. Roll, baby. Come on, girl. Get in there. There it goes. Oh, freak. It's like wrestling a bar, it is. Probably an easy way of doing this, but I don't care. This is the way I'm doing it. There it is. See that? Yeah. Hey, right? perfect. Roll it inside out. Stick your thing in. Push it hard. Ugh. Oh, careful. The ones I bought for the LS were much nicer than these ones, I'll tell you. The price was right on these ones for what I need them for. You definitely protect something. There you go. Actually, it's getting easier as I go. I'm getting better at it. Friggin' right, I'm getting better at it. I'm almost done. A whole side. Oh, man, look at that glass. Beautiful. Damn, damn. Oh man, after this, I'm gonna have to go in, make the daughter some dinner, I am. Probably can't even see me, there it is. There we go. So there's four done. Now I just gotta do the other four. And then we'll be ready to rock. Just so you know, glass, look at it. Everything's glass around here. God damn, that's starting to look good, isn't it? I even got my spacer plate back in with the new gaskets on it. Oh, I got my power line back in too with the heat shield. So that won't burn soon soon captain anyways hopefully i got a video for here i don't know if i do or not but this is what i've been doing tonight just a little update on where i am so we're really close really close besides the drive shaft to getting this thing running so stick around glad you're here don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you don't mind that'd be wonderful and we'll see you on the next one